What's up YouTube? It's Coach Corey and today we got the new Robo Rumble strat for the new Pachinko Park map and pretty easy to get max coins in this one at the least. It's much easier than the last Robo Rumble map on the newer Steel Junction. Pachinko Park a good amount easier. I was able to get max coins pretty much almost every time and uh, I was able to get over 8 minutes. The highest time I've seen today so far is about 8 minutes 30 seconds. I think we could have done it basically you have to not die i know it sounds pretty simple some other maps so if you die you can recover this one once you die later on you're probably going to lose pretty soon the robots just start overwhelming you but the strategy is with colt ricochet and barley there should be a picture up this is going to be about your positioning you're going to have the barley and the ricochet on the left and honestly which side the colt or ricochet on isn't that important but we got our better time with Colt on the right and Ricochet on the left and Barley on the left as well. And the Barley is going to help out pretty much whatever side has more robots for the most part. Although, of course, if there's some fast guys rushing you, you have to deal with those. So the strategy is pretty much that. Those guys are going to be on their side. Some other tips is if you're the Colt and you're facing some of those long range guys, his range is a little bit too short to hit them really well. Um, if you want to hit them and not be hit by those long range guys, you have to pretty much fire at them as you're running away. So you go forward to fire and then you got to run backwards to try and make them come into your shot. If they stop and fire and then you firing at them, they're going to not run into your shot. So you have to time it just right. So to where you're falling back and they're running into you, chasing after you, and they're going to be falling into your shot as a cult. Okay, and then some other tips for this map. The boss is a little bit easier on this map. There's two good blocks on each side where you can do a little ring around the rosy with the boss. So what you want to try and do in the later stages as they get to be more health, use those two blocks, and you'll see this some in the gameplay. Use those two blocks, just make them go in a circle around that, and you should not take too much damage. Maybe we'll take one rocket at most two, but that should be a pretty good way to not take a lot of damage and just be able to continuously shoot the boss and not be under too much pressure. That's probably the easiest way to deal with the boss. Um, as far as other team comps, you can use a dynamite maybe, but still the best team comp is definitely going to be a Colt, a Ricochet, and um, a Barley. Those are going to be the best team comp for sure. And then just some other tips. As always in Robo Rumble, you want to try and get really high value supers. So if you're supering one robot, that's probably not going to be a good super. If you're supering two, it might be good if they're high health guys. If it's range, it might not be. But of course, if it's either that or if you have to super them or you're going to die, you know, you want to super them at the least. Um, anytime you're dying in Rub Rumble, it's probably going to be a really big hindrance unless you still have a boss wave left. If you have a boss wave left, you can definitely recover as once you kill the boss, the next two waves are only two robots. So usually those are pretty easy waves. So even if you die at the end of a boss wave, it's not a big deal. But after the last boss wave and probably after the first wave after that, you can't really die anymore if you want to get a max time or if you want to get past like six minutes, 30 seconds. Um... Some other tips, as a Barley, you do want to help aim for those range guys as it's really hard for your Colt or even your Ricochet to deal with those range guys sometimes as there might be some melees in front of them and those range guys are typically the most annoying besides the really fast robots. So try and aim for those, although you do want to keep in mind you want to be dealing the most damage as possible, so aim for groups as well. But if there's not a if there's not going to be a problem, like there's not too many robots on one side, then try and aim for the range guys, as those are going to be the most annoying. Also, as a cult on the right side, you sort of have to use those covers really interestingly well because those range guys can get stuck there. So you want to try and go in and out using your shots, going in, shooting out, and then going back out to avoid their shots. You definitely have to be dodging from side to side to dodge the range guys' shots. If you're going backwards, you're, there's a much better chance you're going to be hit. You want to try and keep going side to side in easy motion. It's not a really fast zigzag. It's kind of a slow zigzag. Um, their shots aren't too fast, and you don't need to dodge too often as they don't fire too fast either. And if you're facing any sort of mouse robot, any of the really fast robots, just try and go straight backwards. Um, as those guys, you really just want to go as fast back as possible as they're going to catch up to you. So you just want to try and go straight backwards. You're going to have easy straight shots. And that's going to be the main way to deal with those guys. And don't be afraid to just keep falling back to be able to deal with them. You don't want to take too much damage. 
Alright guys, honestly, that's pretty much it for the strategy. It's a fairly simple strategy as Royal Rumble usually is. So, I will just leave up some gameplay. You guys can watch this get over 8 minutes and I'll put up some other clips as well. Uh, I'll just put some music on. Alright guys, good luck in Robo Rumble today. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching.